A 45-year-old woman will be a living kidney donor for a 47-year-old man with advanced kidney failure. The donor operation will be performed laparoscopically. Following dissection and mobilization of the colon and spleen, the donor's left kidney will be exposed. The left adrenal and lumbar veins will be divided. The left ureter and left gonadal vein will be divided. Two left renal arteries, unique in this patient, will be divided and the left renal vein will be divided. The left kidney will then be removed. On a back bench, the kidney graft will be prepared for implantation. An arterioplasty will be performed to connect the two arteries into one. While the arterioplasty is performed, the recipient will be prepared for implantation. In the recipient, the intended implantation site will be the right iliac fossa. The iliac artery and vein will be exposed, and the artery and vein of the kidney donor graft will be oriented. The graft renal vein will be anastomosed to the iliac vein, and the graft reconstructed renal artery will be anastomosed to the iliac artery. The graft ureter will be passed posterior to the recipient spermatic cord and will be anastomosed to the bladder over a stent. Before placing the patient into position, a fan and steel extraction incision marker.